friends welcome back hope you guys are doing well today we are starting off with 2080 into 2860 pixel for today's illustration let's hop on to step one let's paint this guy this is the basic if you have been following my video i use one the two type of brush to bring the sky layer one we are using coarse watercolor brush to add the color and also i'm going to start with the darker shade of blue followed by the lighter shade and followed by the pinkish purple tone and then i'm adding the pink layer finally the peach layer today i just came up with this illustration what if i wake up and happen to see the rest of celestial body as i look up into the sky because i'm someone who spent majority of time looking at skies looking at stars looking at moon and just mesmerized with the beauty of nature so i thought maybe adding this new element in the illustration which i have never done maybe interest for a few other people maybe people out there who enjoy the celestial bodies like the satin mast and so so maybe this is an interesting one for you so we are already blending it using the blending brush in the artist column please make sure to follow the flow size and strength of the brush to get the exact blending like how it is in the picture we are using fountain pen and with the help of toss tail we are going to add a street in the image and make sure to add a new layer to go because we are going to build a lot more illustration in this and make sure to add new layer so we are going straight off to step two that is paint the trees and we are using drawing just make sure to follow the size and the strength of the brush and this is one of the most easiest brush which will give you exact image of a tree we are going a straight line and then we are bringing outward direction of our brush and we giving a slight stroke by the edge to give that pain pain tree effect here so if you are new here just make sure you practice a little bit more and then get the exact tree you want and i feel it's really realistic as how this brush gives me the tree image so we are just copying and pasting for the rest of the tree we are just pasting four trees here not a lot of thing if you want to add more please feel free to so we are into step three that is let's paint the building again we are using font and pen with the help of draw style rectangle option i'm going to add few blocks of building you can add more blocks but i'm just going with three four or five of the building and also once we are done i'm going to use the help of um, line and then add a diagonal uh, fall of the building that is the shadow of the building and with the help of fill bucket we are going to fill the layer and if you look on the right side we have already added four layers so far so make sure to add as many layers as you want because if you make any mistake you can simply delete the layer rather than worrying about the illustration so once we are done adding the fill bucket option to fill the layer i'm using the diagonal that is the line option in the draw style to add the shadow of the building and you can make sure to add to few more buildings so if you can see i have added to the left right of the building and now i'm adding to the left of the building once we are done with this we are going to fill and then we are going to use the help of hairbrush from artist to blend the edge of the building because i want it a little bit smoother side rather than the rough because i want to make it more dreamy as uh, make it more dreamy as i can because this is something i just imagine and i thought maybe this what if it happens in real life you wake up and then you are you are able to see all the celestial bodies with your naked eyes so kind of fun so let's make it as dreamy as we can this is an aesthetic celestial body with a dreaming uh why because you just wake up and you thought maybe this illustration will be interesting for people who are into all this uh, Mars project. So we are going to use the hairbrush from the artist column as I previously mentioned and we are going to smooth out the edges to bring it more dreamy effect to our building. Once we are done with this we are going to use font and pen and with the help of draw style rectangle option I'm going to add few windows with the light. So just make sure you do it as slow as you can if you are the beginner if you are pro level you can just go ahead and follow the exact step at your own speed. These are all in a 4x speed and maybe 2x speed so the entire illustration took me around half an hour to bring this into good picture like effect but if you are new it will take a little longer so just make sure you practice as much as you can also if you happen to illustrate this and happen to post it in your instagram make sure to tag at my instagram account which is ipad fashion drawing and i'll be happy to share in my story and also i want to share with the community here to let them know like we have a very great people who can actually illustrate follow and i happen to meet a lot of good people out in instagram so we are just copying and pasting for the rest of the light in the building and this is 
I think at a 4x speed, just make sure to do it as slow as you can. And if you're a pro, you can just do it in a uh, faster pace. So once we are done, and also I'm going to make sure I copy and paste the building uh, because I want few more building blocks because I feel the emptiness around tree. So it's up to your preference. If you want to stop it here, you can definitely. If not, you can go ahead and add more building, more trees. So we are going straight into step four, that is draw a celestial. This is the main part of the illustration. Just take your time and follow the brush size and strength and flow and the rest. So all we are going to use is to use fountain pen and with the help of draw style circle option, we are going to draw a purplish uh, image here. I don't know which of the celestial body is purple. If you are well versed, please let me know in the comment what of a celestial body will it be. Of course, not a Saturn, maybe Venus. So I'm just adding a few more lighter shade in the uh, darkest shade of the circle so that imagine, so remember the moon where I add a lighter shade and a darker shade to bring the depth to the moon, the same exact way of following it, but we are adding little lighter shade here because already the background of the image itself is little dark and we are going to use the help of wash brush to blend it all this together. And also this is in the 2x speed, just make sure to take your time. Once this is done blending, we are going to to use a uh, flow airbrush to give the depth of this image to the depth of this celestial body by giving the shadow of it and also making sure the image is in a glow so that I want it to be a little pop out in the top and a little bit darker on the edge like if you can see here I'm just using the flow airbrush and adding the darker shade and also with the help of flow airbrush I added lighter shade in it so once we are done we are using cashmere eraser to erase the edge so that it is more smoother and looks like a real celestial body if you look here the layer I have lightened it up because I want it to look like it's not actually out like this but little bit blunder in the sky so what I have done I have duplicated the image of the main layer so that I want because I want one into me a half or size one in the full and I'm also adjusting the color of the another uh, celestial body here so once I'm happy with this color, I'm trying to adjust where to place, whether it should be behind the tree or here, but I'm finally happy with in between tree and the building. So once we are done, we are going to copy and paste or duplicate the main celestial body image into another one. And I have set it into color preference. So if you come here, I'll be making some changes to the color. And also I'm aligning it as per my preference. And if you look, I clicked on HSL and I'm adjusting the color of the illustration. So I want it a little bit like a teal color, a blue color, like in between of the teal and blue. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to add a satiny look to it. So I'm just adjusting the color of rest of the image here. So to add the ring, we are going to use signature ink and also with the help of level, which is the next option of the draw style. And I'm just giving a one slight swipe and we get this perfect image of a, a ring. So also I'm adjusting the color because I want it little to be tinted in shade, but not so bright. And once we are done, we are using smudge web brush to actually blend this in one swipe because I don't want it to look like little roughy, but little bit of smoother. And once we are adding I'm happy with this. I'm using cashmere eraser to uh, erase or smooth, on, uh, smooth out the edges. And we are jumping on to the last step, which is to add star. Here, I have actually forget to record the star option. Please use glow neon pen to add the star and copy and paste. As you see here, I'm adding using glow neon and also I'm using hairbrush to just bring it out like a star crashing in. And we are using symmetry to draw a few more star here. This is the first time I'm doing here. So I'm just using the help of uh, symmetry and also I'm adjusting the layer and also I'm using flow airbrush to add that pop of um, glow from the star and I'm copy and pasting for the rest. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and also let me know if you think it's going to be possible in future where we can just be able to see with a pop of a glass all the celestial bodies. Till then, have a great life, enjoy yourself, you live only once, so have a great time. Bye-bye.